Hi everyone. Hello, 大家好 We'll continue on chapter two. Yes. We met some、um, people that came in.、Mm. Uh, remember who was the star of chapter one, right? We know a few people there. And, and、uh, chapter two is we got a few stars、princess. too. Yes, correct. And now Pierre came Pierre, in. Pierre, yeah, yeah, special person. All right. So we already know that he.、Um, Uh, bowed down and、uh, and and we know that Anna is kind of alarmed, right? Yeah. Because she actually didn't didn't talk too much about、uh, her aunt, right? Pierre just turned away.、Mm. So anyway, so Anna wanted to like stop him and、uh, yeah. try to introduce him to this Abbe Morio.、Mm, Abbe Morio. Yeah. And then she asked, "Do you know the Abbe Morio?" He's a most interesting man,、mm. and then Pierre says, "Yes, I've heard of his scheme for perpetual peace, and it's very interesting, but hardly feasible." So he heard about.、Uh, I guess this,、uh, this, this、uh, guy wants to do, wants to figure out a way to have peace. Okay. Yeah. And, so this,、uh, what this mean? This word mean? Some a way. Some you can think of as a way of a strategy. A way of or,、yeah. strategy. Some way of doing some、this. way of doing it. Perpetual means not not not、It's、forever. Yeah, forever peace. peace. Yeah. And it's it's interesting, but hardly feasible. Not very possible. Feasible, impossible to do easily.、Yeah. Hardly possible means impossible. Oh,、uh, impossible. Okay. You think so? Rejoined、uh, Anna Pavlovna, in order to say something that and get away to attend to her duties as hostess. So um. We we encountered the word rejoin before, right? It's kind of like a witty reply.、Um, What would mean? rejoin means join again? Join、so、again, of, okay. So rejoin, which means a witty. I think it's. I think it was a witty reply. I remember. Witty reply, yeah. yeah. In order to say something and get away to attend to her duty, so she actually didn't want to talk to Pierre about it. Oh. She says, oh, here's uh, she basically she wanted him to、uh, talk、Stop. to Abbe Morio, and then Pierre. Says something about his ideas, but、um, uh, she didn't really want to talk to him about it.、Mm. But Pierre now con- committed a reverse act of impoliteness. So this is interesting.、Mm. So what's the first? So what's the first act of impoliteness did he do? Committed. No, I'm not.、Oh, forget、first. about this. What's the、oh, first? Oh, first、act? is um he. he He just turned away from the aunt, right? From the aunt. This is a reverse, meaning it's a completely different than that was. Completely, it's a reversed. Okay, committed just he did. Okay, so he now committed reverse act of impoliteness. So he did something else, but a different kind of impoliteness.、Mm. First, he had left a lady before he had finished speaking to him. That's the aunt,、mm. and now he continued to speak to another who wished to get away. So who is the one who can want to get away? Anna. Yes. With his head bent and his back big feet spread apart,、uh, he began explaining his reasons for thinking of a base plan,、uh, chimerical. What is chimerical mean? Chimera is kind of an animal、uh, with many kind of、um, body parts, like maybe the head of a <coughs> head of a lion,、uh, maybe, uh, sorry, maybe the head of a man, body of a lion. Tail of a snake or whatever. So this is no, not adjective. I think it's adjective. Don't worry about the adjective. I'm talking、yeah. about the chimera itself. Okay. Chimera is like this animal with many body parts,、oh. many different parts and of animals. So, so that plan? plan means that it's if if that plan is chimerical, it has many different parts. Okay, it has、mm-hmm. many kind of parts which don't don't look like they fit. Maybe not easy to achieve. No, not I think no. Chimerical just means has many different kind of parts which look kind of weird animal, right?、Oh. We will talk about it later," said Anna Pavlovna with a smile. So she really wants no, to get no, away. No,、uh, no, stop! You didn't explain this. Well, anyway, basically now we we know that he he put his head bent, so he's kind of tall already. Because he's tall. And his big feet spread apart. That means he's ready to like not move. He's gonna just stay there. Feet spread. Feet apart spread apart. Means you put your two feet apart. Oh, lower your your not, height. Not 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 lower is not important. It just means that he he doesn't want to move. When you put your feet apart, it means you don't want to move, right? When you put your feet apart, you spread your leg out. You spread your leg out. It's like this. You don't want to move, right? 
So he doesn't want. He just want to get ready to talk to his Anna, right? Oh. But Anna says, "We'll talk about it later," uh, said Anna with a smile. Yeah. And having get and having got rid of this young man who did not know how to behave, she resumed her duties as hostess and continued to listen and watch, ready to help any. Can we go move forward? Ready to help any point where she, the conversation might happen to flag. So、uh, we can go back. So basically, she wanted to go back to what she was supposed to do. Resume means again, right? No, it means continue, continue. where you left off. So begin Conti- after a pause. Okay.、Um, as a hostess, because she's a hostess,、mm. and and what's her duties is to、uh, listen and listen watch, watch. And ready, ready to, to help. help any point where the conversation might happen to flag. Flag just means I think something not. Correct. That's all.、Oh. Flag is like a, you know, you put your flag, country flag. Yeah. So flag. So、oh. basically, something that's not correct. <laughs> As the foreman of a spinning mill. Okay. So this is many words.、Oh. Foreman is basically the person who、um, taking care, like the boss kind of.、Oh. A spinning mill. A spinning mill is something that you grind.、Um, Flour. You put the wheat、oh, in there, and、yeah. it goes round and round. Oh, spinning! So four men is a person who's like looking out、oh, for that. Oh, very busy. Yeah, we're looking out looking because out. there may be many things going on. His、mm-hmm. name. When he has set the hands to work, goes round and notices here a spindle that has stopped, or there one that create creaks or makes more noise than it should, and hastens to check. The machine, or set it in proper motion. So Anna Pavlovna moved about her drawing room, approaching now a silent, now a too noisy group, and by a word or a slight arrangement, kept the conversation machine in steady, proper, and regular motion. Great.、Um, oh, so, so、uh, long. It's it's it's, it's great. Uh, um, well, it's a it's a good picture of what Anna is doing. Is is the all the sentences is talk about Anna? Yeah. Because Anna is like this, this bot foreman. No, she she's like the foreman. Foreman, foreman. is、uh, kind of like the guy who is looking, making sure things are working in、uh, this. So this、yeah. the mill is a machine. So he has to go around make sure that, um,、uh, make sure that the people are working has set the hands to work. That means that he's look make sure that people are working. Goes around make sure. What does he mean? The foreman. He. Yes. Anna is she right? Doesn't matter.、Oh. She says, "Ask the foreman when As, he." Oh, okay. So about the foreman. Oh, okay. When he has set、it's、the hands to work, work, make sure people are working,、okay. and checks make sure everything is correct. Like the spindle. Don't worry、like、about、spindle. what. It's not important to know this.、Okay. The spindle that has stopped. Something stopped on the machine. Oh,、mm. uh, there. There was a creak. Some sound. Or more noise than it should. Maybe he hears something about on the machine that doesn't sound right, <laughs> and goes to check the machine and set it in proper. Make sure it's moving around correctly.、Mm. So Anna is just like this foreman.、Mm. She goes around the drawing room.、Oh. She approaching now a silent. Maybe this group is too silent, not talking enough.、Oh. And sometimes to go to a group who's talking too loud. Too loud. And by a word. So she maybe say something. That's what I mean by a word. Means she say may say something, or slight rearrangement, or maybe she moves somebody from here to there. She、oh, moves people. Slight rearrangement. Right. She maybe oh it's you know maybe move this person here、oh. or maybe separate some people a little、If、bit. If they too know they maybe move people. Yeah. Keep kept the conversational machine instead. So what is the machine here? Is a conversation machine. Conversation so just like、machine. that machine was going round and round. This is a、mm. conversation machine. Make sure all the conversation is doing well. Oh. She she goes around the room, make sure everybody's like、oh. talking well, steady, proper. steady, proper, and regular motion. Make sure nobody's stopping talking, like no、oh. silence. No、right? silence. Motion means regular motion. You say something. Move. move. No, it's just movement. Regular movement. movement. Yeah. But amid this、uh, cares, her anxiety about Pierre was evident.、Uh, amid this amid. cares means like in the middle of doing this cares thing that she care about. Okay. Her anxiety again, anxiety. yeah. Her nervousness about Pierre was evident,、oh, was、Pierre. very clear. He worried about Pierre very yeah, much. Yeah, I don't know why. She kept an anxious watch on him, so she was always looking at him. <laughs> anxious. When he approached a group, okay, so so she's actually trying to figure out where he, which group he goes to, because、oh. because recall what she's doing. She's trying to make sure everybody、yes. is talking correctly. But but now、between. he's worried about him because he might he might break something. 
So he approached the group around Mortemart. We, we remember Mortemart was the uh, the one that Hippolyte, the son of Prince Vasily, uh, introduced to the group. So which, um, which? that's a guy that Prince Vasily's son brought, I think. Prince Vasily's son. Yeah, Hippolyte. Brought. Oh. Yeah. So uh, he approached the group around Mortemart to listen to what was being said there. And again, when he passed to another group whose center was Abbe. I based at Abbe Mario. So basically, he went. She's Anna is. Be, uh, don't worry about Pierre. Pierre is just moving around. Mm. Always trying to say Anna is like making sure. Oh, this guy went where here is, and went here. He? He's, he's trying to keep he? a track of him. Mm. Pierre had been educated abroad. We already know that he was yes. like, and his reception at Anna Pavlovna's was the first he had attended in Russia. So this is the first time again, just like the aunt. It's the first time he attended society again. You can think oh. of that way. He knew that uh, all the intellectual lights of Petersburg were gathered there. He knew that all the intellectual, the people who think more, right, the more intellectual. Smart? Not smart, intellectual. Intellectual means? Use their brain or whatever. Uh, use their brain? Yeah, use their thinking, thinking more. Intellectual light, lights? Yeah, intellectual lights, just call it lights, of, C of Petersburg were gathered there. This means, th this word describes the people, right? Yeah. But these are lights, means the sinking their mind. You know, whatever. You know, you can say you can say lights just means something shining, right? That's all you that's something how it is. shining. Something that gives light. Oh, okay. okay. Uh we're gathered there. And like a child in a toy shop, so what was he like? So he's like a child, child in a toy shop. So I wanna make make sure you understand what that means. What's it mean child in a toy shop? I understand. Why? What does it mean? It's because the child always like, uh, like buying the toy shop. When he's in the toy shop, he's feel very excited. So why is Pierre excited? Because Pierre is his first time. No, incorrect. Hmm? That's not why he's excited. No. I don't know. Because he's among all these very smart people or intellectual lights. That's why uh, he's excited. Oh, because he will see the intellectual lights. Not, not he'll see. He's just he has a chance to talk to them. Did not okay. Anyway, did not know which way to look. What does that mean? Did not know which way to look. I don't know. Did not know. You know what that means. Did not know. Means I don't know. Yes. Which way to look? I, I don't know how to look. No, it's not how to look. That's not. That's not what it says. It says did not know which way to look. It didn't say about how to look. Oh, he know how to look, but he don't know. Where to look? Right. Afraid of missing any clever conversation that was to be heard. So what was he afraid of? Because he don't know where to look. No. Huh? He was afraid of missing any clever conversation. Yeah. So what, what what was he afraid of? That's what my question. Afraid of missing any clever conversation. Which means what? Means he want to hear clever conversation right so so that's why he didn't know what he did not know where to look because he don't know where have this clever conversation correct. so he's looking around everywhere oh. seeing the self seeing, seeing the self-confident and refined expression on the faces of those present he was always expecting to hear something very profound hmm? so this is very interesting this is a very interesting sentence this, this sentence yes oh. this, this is a very interesting sentence oh. so he saw a lot of people who were self-confident yeah. you know self-confident yes yeah. And refined. Refined means just, um, you know, not. Um, refined means. Well, what do you think refined means? Be very confident. No. Expression. I don't no. know. Very mature kind of expression. Uh, very. F how about fine? Forget about refined. How about fine? Fine. Good. No. I'm fine, right? No. Fine means like. Smart. No, find just you know that you know thread like uh, something that's uh, very thin. Yes. Like uh, like your hair is very yes. fine. Fine means it's kind of very. Very, very thin. Very thin. And yeah. That's, that means, if you don't look look very carefully, right. you will so, almost cannot so, so, see right. it. So so this is, uh, yeah. So refined has kind of a, that idea, kind of oh. somebody who is very deep, you know, very. Maybe detailed, Detail. but very fine-featured kind of expression. Oh. So that's 
because this these guys are high society, right? They're not like just a um, you know like uh. the big you know like showing weird expression or whatever. They're very refined. They're con- very controlled. You can also think of that way. Control. Very controlled expression. Expression. Self conscious, right? So he saw all those faces. On the people. And he was expecting some. He was expecting that uh, to hear something very profound. So because he saw all these people, they're very self confident, very refined. Yeah. He was expecting to hear something very profound. Profound. Profound means deep. Excited and excitement? Uh, no, deep. Deep. Yeah. Oh, okay. So those pre- present means those people, right? Yes, those people are there, yes. Okay. So what was he expecting to see here? So to say. What's the question? So he saw this, all these faces. Yes. And all these faces look very self-confident and refined. Yes. And what kind of conversation was he expecting from these people? Profound. Which means what? You say it's deep. Yes, which what do you think means deep? I don't know. It means that they're talking about very maybe um very difficult things to think about. Mm. Right? So let me ask you this question. So because the author said this, so Pierre, you will know he's like really trying to like he really wants to find something very interesting to hear, yes. right? Yes. And he looks at all these people. They look very kind of confident and they look very um, refined. Refined. And, and because, because he sees so many of these people, he thinks that people are talking something very deep. Yes. So what do you think is going to happen now? And he will find the people who talk very deep and maybe willing to join the conversation and show mm-hmm. his own opinion. You think that's going to happen? Yes. I think it would be much funnier. Funnier? Yeah, I would think it would be much funnier that if he doesn't find any profound talk. And then he will feel boring. doesn't matter. I'm just saying it's much funnier uh, because he came to this place looking for something very profound. People yes. Say, but it would be funny if he came here, find all these people who look very whatever, confident, whatever, and they don't talk about anything important. That would be much funnier because he maybe his idea was oh maybe these are the best people to talk about things in Russia and not one of them can talk about anything interesting. Oh. That'd be much interesting, right? Yes. Okay. Anyway, I don't know, but let's take a look. Okay. At last, he came up to Morio, Morio des Abbe, the 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 religious guy. Here's the conversation. Which guy? Religious guy. We've been talking about this abbe for so many. He, he appeared three or four times already. So that's I, a guy who Anna said, "Look, this guy's very interesting. Maybe you should talk to him." And the peer said, uh, "You know, I, I don't like his idea about peace. I don't think it's gonna work." Oh, the and same chimerical, guy. Oh, whatever. Okay. Here, the conversation seemed interesting, and he stood waiting for an opportunity to express his own views, oh. <laughs> as young people are fond of doing. So yes. he's there, he's listening, and yes. I want you to understand what does it mean. This is actually. Very interesting um, mm. how he how the author talks about how he what he wants to do. So the conversation seemed interesting. Yes. And then he stood waiting for an opportunity. Mm-hmm. He wait. Yes. For an opportunity to express his own views. Yes. Right. I'm correct. So I'm guessing he's correct. Right? No, no, no. So we no. don't know that. But anyway, mm-hmm. I I want you to get the picture here. The last picture is actually an interesting picture. Yes. He's waiting for an opportunity to express mm. his own views. Yes. As young people are fond of doing. As, As make... young people are fond of doing. Yes. So what kind of what kind of statement is that? So the author could have stopped. Mm. He says, oh, he found this group. And, and he's just waiting there to, to speak. Yeah. That's good. He could have said that. He, yeah, didn't, he didn't say that. Mm. He said, as young people are fond of doing. So what does that mean? Just like the young people. They so are... how are young people like? What young are young people, people like? like doing? Like doing what? Like waiting for opportunity to express. No. Mm, no, I don't know. Be- young people have a lot of opinions. Yes. So they want to make sure that other people can hear their opinions. Oh. Does that make sense? Yes. Makes young sense. people like, oh, um, like, uh, I don't know, if you sing, uh, so they want to show how smart they are, right? So the problem of doing, doing means express it. Express their, their opinions. own opinion. Fun and means what? Fun is really like. Yeah, right. So it's, he's making a statement about young people. Yes. He says that young people like to because show. Because young people, their society is low. So he wants to find out. 
I don't think blow. it's because of law. No. So, so yeah. the young people, they really need the opportunity to show his ability. Yes, to show maybe yes. Not because they're low, people. it's just because they're young, I think. Young, yeah. yeah. They want more people can listen to what is yeah, their, their, their bright their ideas. Idea, yes. Bright idea. And show yeah. they are very uh, smart, right. very... Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we are yep. in the end of the chapter 2. Yep. How about... Can you summarize chapter two? Put your um, I think, after your reading. You know, I I think I I was very um well. So I asked the same question. Mm. Which character do you like the more? More. There are yeah. just two characters. Yes. So which one the do you like more? The princess and yes. Pierre. Correct. Um, I don't know because Pierre is very special. I don't know what kind of what he will do. So I will choose uh, the princess. Okay, because I yeah. he pleasure herself and make other people around her yeah. feel very good. So I guess it depends on the person. I personally like Pierre. You personally like Pierre? Yes. Because he's smart. No, because I don't think he cares really about. I don't think he, you know, although he he's waiting for opportunity to express his own yeah. view. I don't think he's like the young people, uh, who want to express their own view. You know, it I, says ice young people are fond of tea. No, it says that this act of like wanting to say mm. is kind of like young people, but yeah. it doesn't say pure is like these young people who wants to show off. It oh. doesn't say that. Yes. It just says that he's waiting like these young people who want to show off, mm. but maybe he's not like that. See, and uh, and and also I found very interesting that. You know, he's looking for very smart conversations, like you said, intelligent conversation. Oh, yes. I still feel like he's not going to find any. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and and uh, I also find it very interesting that he he's kind of like the... Um, he He's the only one so far we found Anna is very annoyed with. Annoyed? I, she's anxious. Makes him... Makes anxious. Anna... <laughs> makes... makes ang because we know so far Anna can handle almost any situation. Yes. But this guy makes her anxious. Oh. Right. So, so I think first make Anna anxious. feared. Yes. And now make Anna action. Anxious. 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 Anxious, yeah. So anyway, so anyway, I think that's great. I think mm. it's good to um, find somebody who can um, change the character because, you know, I think finding somebody who can be against the other characters is also mm. good too. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, bye-bye, everyone. Bye. See you next time.